There's something very to hear in shot about the design of Midgar, actually. <laughs> well, you're kind of right. <laughs> I'll head home on my own. After all, I'm only a little sore. <laughs> That's cool. We'll go together. Aw, thanks, bro. <sighs> Cut that out. <laughs> this way. Anyway, welcome to Final Fantasy VII Remake, the story of a, a little robot boy who learns how to love. <laughs> cool, if we check on them, we'll pass by their places anyway. Sure. Look, Cloud's being... Oh, hey, Chadley, out late at night, huh? How you doing? Okay, see you later, buddy. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Cloud. I do not require sleep. I have hacked my adrenal glands. <laughs> I am still ready to die at a moment's notice. Well, this is Big's place. I guess he hasn't made it home yet. Guess not. Hope he isn't worst casing it again. He's got a habit of overthinking things, worrying about all the possible outcomes till his head hurts. Wouldn't have guessed. And when he worries, I worry. <laughs> anyway, let's head on over to Jesse's. So yeah, something I like here is they're, they're playing the, the main theme of Final Fantasy VII again in this area, but uh, now that it's nighttime, they wrote a separate arrangement for nighttime. Hmm. This is where Jesse lives. Men are not allowed inside. I bet she'd make mm. an exception. <laughs> Lots of pretty girls trying to make it big on stage live here. So don't hang around or they might get the wrong idea. Huh. I'm telling you this for your own good, Cloud. People around here love to gossip. Oh no, I know. I've they listened to almost every conversation. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's all good. They think she's an actress. Oh, and one more thing, bro. It's all a game to her. Don't fall for it. You lost me. <laughs> Life's a stage and loves the play. What is love? I'm going in. I'm going in. <laughs> Guys aren't allowed, remember? <laughs> Damn it. I'm gonna try to find some living room. No, 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 no. Oh, you wanna know the rest of it? Just read the subtitle alongside. Hey there, bigums. Reggie, Smalls. Brought a new friend to meet you. What? These little guys are on guard duty today. <laughs> okay. Thanks for seeing me home. Really sorry about your ass. <laughs> it's all good, bro. It's kind of weird when you call me that. Hey, don't be scared. Deep down, he's a big softy. It's okay. It's okay. Good job, guys. It? Great work. They did do a great job. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure too. your place is safe oh, and sound. Oh, Gums, acting so tough. And you, Reggie, you are just the cutest. Aw, Smalls, do you want a belly rub? A cat named Bigums is so good. Hey, bro, want to chill with me and the gang for a bit? Uh, who's the gang? The cats, dummy. Who else? Bigamous Rex, Reginaldo, Mr. Smalls. Right. Wedge loves his friends so much, he named two cats after Biggs in two different ways. <laughs> Mind checking on the others again for me? Thanks. Oh, and have a good night. Cats are so good. That one's named. That one's named uh, Lockheart. Yeah. Uh, uh, or we, Heartlock, I guess. Yeah, Heartlock. Uh, we got one that's just Wally. <laughs> for Barrett Wallace. I'm gonna try to find some living work on the plate tomorrow. Yeah, I heard about that. <laughs> yeah, I remember. Yeah, sure. <laughs> good luck. But don't get your hopes up. Hoping to score some Shinra bucks. <laughs> Might be able to afford a 300 square foot apartment. You know about the secret reactor jobs? Even people from the Undercity are allowed to do them. Secret jobs? It's just a rumor, but the pay is supposed to be amazing. Thing is, you can't apply. You have to be selected. That sounds pretty sketchy. Yeah, they make you swim around in Mako with no protective gear. <laughs> you know you wanna. Stop it, I can't. Please, just a few gil. No, I'm not lending you squat. But what if I get one of the secret reactor jobs? You know, yeah, come on. There's serious money to be made working inside the reactors. Yeah, not for us, though. 
wouldn't be so sure about that. Got a guy in Sector 6 who'll hook us up with a position if we're interested enough. All right, I'm listening. Something about an experiment or something. Can't remember all the terms he used, but it's money. <laughs> something about something invasive. Don't know, really know what that means, that but uh, sounds good to me. Guys. Hey, hear about this secret lab? <laughs> yeah, not quiet till the next bomb goes off. Boom. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, talking about the music in this this game again. Back in the previous episode, while we were fighting all those dudes uh, in that Shinra warehouse, that music you hear for that entire fight, you will never hear anywhere else for the rest of the game because there <laughs> there is a ton of stuff where they write unique music just for it. And like that fight had multiple phases, you know, with the different enemies, with cutscenes in, in between all of them. Right, right. The song itself is like nine minutes long, and there are multiple movements, with one each movement being like a looping bit for each set of enemies you fight, and then bits in between each movement that are like scored just for the cutscenes. <laughs> they do that for almost everything in the game. It is a ridiculous amount of effort they put into that stuff. I just want to know if the trains will run. You ain't, ain't any of y'all heard about motorcycles? Maybe we rented the only two motorcycles down here. Oh shit, Avalanche invented traffic jams. I don't know where life will take him, but I hope he doesn't get caught up. I miss having him to talk to. He was a pretty good listener. Those bikes I serviced today seemed fine to me, but maybe I missed something? They always push him right to the limit. You didn't know your stuff? They'd be dead by now. But what if I don't? I let you handle it because you could. Have faith in yourself. Thanks so much. <laughs> I, I love a good bike-based pep talk. Yeah, and again, like, they wrote a whole tiny little arc with those two dudes with the, 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 the guy who's like an apprentice to the other bike worker. They didn't have to do that. Why'd they do that? Down with authority, down with authority, rock jazz, rock jazz. Eggs and <laughs> chips, rocks and jazz, down with authority. <laughs> Hip hop chocobo. <laughs> did you hear? Someone did a number on those thugs from Sector 6. I sure hope they don't think it was me. I did it. Trust me, they don't. It was me. It's me. Hey, 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 over here. Big sword. Yeah, I yeah, fucked I did them up. It. Real good, right over there. It's like ten steps away from you guys. I threw magic at them. A long time ago, I vowed to lay down my life for the dawn. But you put all that behind you. Guys like that, they don't care. I know they're out to get me. You're being paranoid. <laughs> so this pigeon wants something to get rid of his cat allergies? Easy enough to find, provided you think ditch water counts as medicine. <laughs> Are they describing a children's book? <laughs> Some of the Don's men got their asses handed to them by a local merc. That's hey. me! Don't <laughs> say. Serious shitstorm. Yes, yes, me! <laughs> like, Cloud is already praised for six, fixing so many problems, but there's even more things that he isn't accredited for, and he really wants everybody to know. I'm running for office. Yeah. I fought those thugs from Sector 6 that were the work for some Don or something, I fucked him up. Come on. Mako sure as shit ain't the key to untold happiness for one and all. They learned that quick after coming here. Yeah, I agree. You you're cool with the bombings? I'm saying Shinra could do more. I helped with the last bombing. Hello. Standing me up again? On a night when we could all use a drink. You sure? So there's one conversation uh, over here by the the, the clothes shop. What the hell are those two arguing about? Slum fashion, as if anyone gives a shit. If, it's if you listen to these fits. these two ladies who are having this little argument, it's uh. White is the way to go. More like pink. A classic black and white combination never goes out of fashion. They're having a 1998 like internet colors. argument about which girl from Final Fantasy VII is better, basically. <laughs> 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 Via arguing about the colors of their outfits. It's great. Uh, you know of a club called The Leaf House? I heard that Biggs has poured a lot of money into that place. Yep, one drink at a time. Uh, the Leaf House is an orphanage. Yep, and he yes. buys orange juice. Yeah, he donates to them because he grew up there. 
Yeah, a little bit more about Biggs there. I mean, at the start of the previous episode, they both Biggs and Wedge mentioned they don't have like any parents or anything around still. All right, enough time listening to people. It's time to go to Jesse's house, and something's gonna happen. Yeah, we're gonna be attacked by all of her fangirls who are also <laughs> aspiring actors, and they're gonna say salacious rumors. Well, if it isn't Cloud Strife, was wondering when you'd show up. Without further ado, here you are. You're just full of orbs. Thanks for stepping up, Merc. <laughs> And now, for the cherry on top. One of the orb-shaped fruits. Oh. Okay, I get it. Mind letting me breathe? Depends. Mind coming over tomorrow night? My roommates should all be out for a while. Are you seriously that desperate? Just let go already. Only if you promise to come back tomorrow night. Deal? Oh god, what do I say? You could just lie. <laughs> it's true. Uh, I really can't. I have rats to punch. <sighs> no promises, but I'll think it over. Really? You will? I'd make a mean pizza, I'll have <gasps> you know. I feel like Marge, hugs Marge, from her would be Marge, really Marge, uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, Sound because good? of the breastplate. <laughs> uh, never heard of any of that stuff. Oh, you are so adorable, you know that? Jesse is a woman you who loves guys who don't know what pizza toppings great. are. <laughs> That's her type. Nighty night. And in a pizza-based society, her her type is pretty narrow. Psych. I changed my mind. I'm going in. I want in. Hey. Bad idea. Damn it. Bad idea. But thou mustn't. But thou mustn't. Oh, a little baby pipe. One day it'll grow up big and strong. It's been planted in, in the soil. <laughs> so yeah, this is the only time this little girl is all by herself in this playground. Are you here to play too? I like playing the part, do you? And she has a bunch of stuff that, that to say. Again, only for this very specific point of the game. You know, I'm not supposed to be here. I'm sick, so I should be at home. But I sneak out at night a lot. Are you contagious? Should I get should I, the fuck out of here? Should I leave? I feel like I should leave. You don't have any friends? Hey. Yeah, me neither. I'm figuring out what that word means. Give Look, me time. There is a girl ten steps behind me who wants me to come over with all of her friends gone. She says she makes a mean pizza. I don't know what that means. <gasps> is it literal? <laughs> or does she want to do something with me? I don't know. I can't figure these people out. They keep trying to give me hugs and high fives and positive affirmation, and I don't know how to deal with it. She listed all these pizza toppings I've never heard of, and have I just never eaten them? Or did she make them up? I was strapped to a man for more than five minutes, and all he had to say was that I did a good job. I just want to do backflips, please. Oh, hey, Shinra Middle Manager's here. Hello. <laughs> when people find out I'm friends with someone who works at Shinra, they always look really impressed. It's so awesome. <laughs> it's not a big deal. Imagine how they'll react when you're a department head, an executive, a board member even, the president of the entire company. Ha, <laughs> that'd be something. I can't wait until I can afford a real house. <laughs> He even dresses like he wants to be friends with Shinra. <laughs> yeah. Have I told you lately just how much our friendship means to me? I even remember where we first met, at that one place in Wall Market. Right, but don't mention that to my wife. They did don't just meet work. two days my ago, lips right? Are sealed. That one thing, oh, and that other thing, it'll all stay just between you and me. Unless you cross me, Shinra man. <laughs> so, what do you think Wall Market's like? I heard you can satisfy all your wildest desires in there. Damn, I gotta go. Yeah, those guys definitely did right, right over there. Don't know what their dreams were, but uh, they did them. Really good pizza toppings. Ooh. You want to leave? I'm just tired of. You're sweeping the outdoors. <laughs> <laughs> this is. <laughs> oh, hey, Cloud. Survived the jump. How's Wedge? He's fine. Fucking Sisyphus with a broom over here. Like... Well, that's good to hear. Tomorrow's a really big day for all of us. When Wedge said he'd been shot, 
I was afraid we'd have to call off the whole damn thing. Heading topside in secret? Don't think I could have faced Barrett if something had happened. But Jessie'd been acting weird, and I knew I couldn't just ignore her. Biggs. She must be prepping the bomb right now. Or will she be able to finish before morning? I should go and see if she needs any... Biggs. Huh? Uh. Sorry. Our shoot was blown pretty far off course. So that's why there are no yeah. men allowed like at Jesse's house. They're, they're so a distraction from the bomb the making. <laughs> you yeah. need it. Roger. Night. Night. And thanks, really. All her roommates are, are also bomb experts. Appreciate you coming. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow's gonna be a success. I know it. We've all put in the work. What, what do you intend to sweep? Like, what, what does a finished job anything. look like? Thanks for the refresher. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. So, like, the, the people directly behind me who were talking about Walmart earlier, a couple episodes ago, they were like, man, that guy over there is a real neat freak. He was complaining about the g garbage smell. They were talking about fucking bigs. <laughs> so maybe he just sweeps because he needs to clean. Huh. I don't want to check out Sector 6, don't you? Uh, are you talking about Wall Market? I bet we could have lots of fun. Uh, let me just check my wall. I don't know if I could go to Wall Market in this disgusting shirt I'm wearing. <laughs> I don't know if I'm clean enough to go there. The traditional Loveless production they put on every year is great, but I'd also love to see this year's new musical version. There is one well, story is in the city of question. Midgar. <laughs> totally worth it. Oh, man. There's some guy snooping around town, acting like he's here cruising for girls. Wall market fella, yeah? He tried to hit on you too? No, no, I mean the Not Merc. Me. <laughs> Guessing you weren't his type, but uh, sure are mine. Huh? Uh, I need to go. I need to close up the- He just immediately closes the, the <laughs> yeah. food truck. I have to- I have to go! <laughs> We're out of food now, goodbye. <laughs> We're out of food, I have to go to bed, I sleep here! To help me make these deadbeats pay their tabs. Think that statement Avalanche put out is the real deal? What do you mean? Or was it faked by Wu Tai to destabilize Midgar before they invade? Oh. Whoa. Yeah, there's a good amount of like stupid like Wu Tai conspiracy theories r random people have. Really hope the trains will be running tomorrow. Some of us have got bills. Yeah, all the Wu Tai stuff definitely existed in the original, but they cranked it up a notch for the remake. Mm -hmm. um, partially just because a lot of the Wu Tai stuff didn't really happen until a part later that we don't get to in this first remake game. Right, right. Um, they definitely moved some plot events, or at least bring up at least the idea that those, those events are going to happen later on in a, a later game into this first game. Hey, Tifa. Hey. She's probably asleep. It's okay. You've you've talked to more today than you have in your entire life. I understand. <laughs> it's exhausting. <laughs> I mean, this is the same day you did every uh, uh, mini game. It's true. Or, or side quest. It's been a long fucking day for Cloud. His muscles must hurt. Not as bad as the other guys. Oh. Take your boots off before you get into bed, you monster. <laughs> Cloud? Yeah. You were out for a while. Just walking. <sighs> I ran into Johnny, by the way. Said not to worry, he was getting out of town. Uh... Oh, that guy. You weren't thinking of leaving Midgar anytime soon, were you? Hmm. Well, seems this old friend of mine's in a tight spot. Long time ago, I said I'd be there for her. Made a promise. So... I was thinking about it, but then I remembered the opening cinematic, and it seemed like the only city in the world. Can't say this is quite what I had in mind when I put that on you way back when. If you want to talk, I'm listening. <gasps> huh? What's with you all of a sudden? With me? Like you're losing that hard edge. That bad? Not at all. I like it. 
Maybe Marlene won't be so scared of you next time. Oh, no, I'm terrifying to children. That <laughs> will not change. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really glad to have you back, Cloud. Really glad. Oh, it's pretty late, huh? I'd like to catch up more, but we should probably both get some sleep, yeah? Yeah. Good night, then. Wait, Tifa, come back. What does it mean when a girl says she wants to make you a pizza? Good night, Tifa. <laughs> Have you ever wanted to make me a pizza? What does this mean? Oh, I got a lot to think about. Also, by the way, if a cutscene ever starts and suddenly there's a button prompt in the bottom left to open up the menu, that means you're going into a fight immediately after this cutscene ends. <laughs> it, it gives you a chance to change up your equipment before you get thrown into a fight all of a sudden. Sleep and dream the sweetest dreams. Oh, that's so nice of you! The friendliest ghosts. If only it tucked me in. Cloud! What's wrong? Come with me! Quickly! Whoa! Whoa, can everybody see them now? Hmm. We were getting ready to set out when those things showed up and came after us. Oh. Barrett and Jesse are holding their ground, but for how long? I don't know. Let's go. Right. Man, we're going to find out what Cloud's Patronus is, and I am hyped. <laughs> <laughs> it's Sephiroth. It's Sephiroth, yeah. Ready? You know it. Let's head for the bar. All right, thankfully, these ghosts are corporeal just enough that they do get hurt by getting punched <laughs> and hit with a sword. Yeah, if we scan the mysterious specters. Too bad. Physical attacks don't do much to their staggered bar, but magic does a lot to it. So pelt them with magic spells. Mm -hmm. uh, they don't have a lot in terms of abilities. Uh... They can either make spice come out of the ground to, to poke you with. Uh, they can also wrap themselves around you and, and just grab you so you can't attack for a bit while the guys hit you. Mm -hmm. um, also, something really nice. It can be hard to lock on to the right opponent you want while you're running around, but you can manage all that lock on stuff while you have the tactical mode up. It makes it way easier. Yeah. Finish him off! We kill it? And this is what the next Ghostbusters movie should be. It should have really <laughs> big swords. You know, I agree. Deal and the last that. one did have punching. So it did have punching. You're right, yeah. actually. There was ghost punching. I mean, we're already close. Cloud has a buster sword. It could just be a ghost buster sword. Buster swords make him feel good. So I'm working on staggering all these, these ghosts with Tifa to boost her limit gauge, uh, her limit break meter up faster, so I could show that off, because every character has their own unique limit break. Mm -hmm. Take the lead. Okay, time to go. There is one change. The original game, Tifa had like a slot machine minigame associated with her limit breaks. She doesn't have that anymore, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, but the limit break itself, still pretty similar to what she had before. You can't say there's no end to this when you've killed, like, half of them. <laughs> like, there's a visible end to this. Tifa's Limit Break uh, is a somersault. Again, does a ton of damage. It looks pretty cool. Let's finish this! Nice. Eventually, you can get more Limit Breaks. Everyone has more than one. Mm-hmm. What are these things? No idea. Pretty sure you can't even see them unless they make physical contact first. That's all you can tell me? I can tell you they're not invincible. I guess that's something. More of them? We're running out of time. Any other way? Yeah, over here. What does it feel like to have a ghost go through you, I wonder? Again? Uh, allegedly cold. I don't buy that. It's gotta feel like <laughs> something else. <laughs> Not just cold. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. It's like trying to fight a hurricane. Stay on your feet. 
you don't have to tell me that. And now we're getting a really detailed look at this alley. Okay. <laughs> They're loading screen ghosts. <laughs> They look like pitcher plants. A little bit, actually, yeah. Yeah, I'm coming. Move! So yeah, sometimes they'll just swarm one person. They can't do anything until you, you hurt these ghosts enough to make them stop. Mm-hmm. Uh, so among all of these ghosts, there's one slightly different. Uh, it's tinged purple a little bit. It's an enigmatic specter. Ooh. Even more mysterious. Yeah, this is a stronger specter. Uh, again, magic uh, fills up its stack gauge more. Um, mm -hmm. But it has gr uh, greater resistance to everything. Basically, everything does almost <laughs> like one damage. It has more abilities. Uh, and also, it doesn't specify it here, but it has a, a regen status effect on it. So about every quarter to a half second, it's regenerating its health mm -hmm. uh, to the point where just hitting it normally you will never do damage because it will always heal everything all the damage you just dealt to it very quickly yeah. like even casting spells on it does less damage than it's regenerating like every half second <laughs> Ugh. yeah you can't do anything to that thing if only you had like a priest in your party <laughs> yeah I don't have any analogs to mages or any, white mages or anything like that yet. Burn. Or, you know, just Father O'Malley, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you kill one of the other specters, it pressures the enigmatic specter. Ah. So you gotta, you gotta go after the smaller ones and then work on filling its stagger gauge while it's pressured for a bit. And again, Cloud is better for filling up the stagger gauge than Tifa is. She doesn't have any abilities or anything that fill up the stagger gauge more. <laughs> at least not yet. She eventually gets some stuff, but she's mm -hmm. still just never quite as good at, at filling up the, the gauge as other characters are. She is definitely far more about just pure raw damage. <laughs> Speaking of raw damage, uh, I already leveled up Tifa's Chi level twice, so she's at max, so we can just <laughs> empty this whole this ghost health bar all in one go. Look at the damage! How's your ammo? Running low! Oh no! Now I'll never know if it was actually the pizza or not. Oh man. So really, this is all just a, a big assassination job on Jesse. Jesse, you okay? Me and my two left feet. Oh, easy now. Well, you won't have to worry about that anymore once we amputate. <laughs> we ain't putting on a damn show. <laughs> the hell were those things? Some kind of I don't know. Guess I shouldn't be surprised, though. Never can tell what weird shit'll come crawling out of the scrap down here. Haven't you heard that the train graveyard is haunted? <laughs> I'm telling you. It hurt? Wish I could say it didn't, but yeah. <laughs> hey, can somebody slap this girl's ankle? I want to feel joy again. <laughs> God, this is so embarrassing. I hate playing the damsel in distress. It happens. What did you do to your leg? <laughs> did, did, does it hurt? Not nearly as much as the fuss everyone's making. Still, I think you ought to avoid putting any- I'm fine. <sighs> oh. Oh. Can we get That's her a enough. chair, please? You're out, Jesse. Huh? What about the mission? We already sent Biggs in, remember? Don't tell me you're thinking of calling it off. Uh, no, we got this. 
the hell you do? If you need someone to step up, I'm your man. <laughs> but your ass, though. Yeah, your ass is hurt. Also, you are ass. <laughs> Okay, so here's the thing. I'm gonna need a raise. Consider it done. All right, everyone, clouds in. The mission is on. Go and raise some hell for me, okay? Hmm. Listen, Wedge, I need you to hang back and guard the home front. What? But I'm in perfect health. Which makes you the perfect choice to look after Jesse and Marlene. I, I love that the organization of Avalanche requires every operation have hey. a designated babysitter. <laughs> Let's get this show on the road to Marco Reactor 5. Once you got your gear in order, head to the station for the meet. Got it? <laughs> this will help you get squared away. Don't tell me I never did nothing for you. I'm counting on you. Soldier boy. I'm thinking Marlene's like a good morale boost for this this <laughs> tiny cell of Avalanche. It's just like have this super tiny adorable child that lives in the terrorist HQ. <laughs> <laughs> you know what you're fighting for. Ah, forgot to give this to you, bro. Your prize for taking the top spot on the darts leaderboard. You earned it. Hell yes. After you guys come back from the plate, maybe we can play around together. Yeah, I would love to embarrass you to your face. With yeah. old Wedge in charge, this place will be safer than ever. Relegated to stagehand once again. I'm starting to think I'll never have a starring role. There's always next time. What's this? Words of encouragement? <laughs> Thanks. I need them. Look, even after we blow up this reactor, there's now. six more reactors. <laughs> there's a lot of more chances. You can tell that this is, you know, the heart of the resistance because they serve egg and chip and not just pizza. Good luck out there, bro. And take care. All right, let's get going. Sure. After you take a deep breath. Huh? I can tell you're nervous. That obvious, huh? Okay, I'm ready now. Yeah, the, the disagreement there wasn't... Uh, she was out of the job. It was that she... Uh, Cloud was getting kicked out. Okay. Yeah. Uh, a nice quality of life thing here is even though Barrett isn't in our party right now, we can still go into the menu and screw around with his equipment. Ooh, uh, I'm I'm sure he really appreciates that. <laughs> you could do this for the entire game, actually. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we actually had one more uh, little mission for Chadley that we hadn't done yet. So off screen, I uh, off screen, I finished it. I just had to. You just have to stagger a certain amount of different enemy types. It had to be 15, and hit, staggering 15 different enemies by this point is a little tough to do um, but I ran around this area and uh, I staggered the rats and the weird bugs uh, <laughs> they're hard to stagger because they die really fast but right. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it is possible to do because yeah if you if you don't uh, finish up the, all the challenges Ch uh, Chadley has for you at this point it's going to be a little bit before you see him again Mm -hmm. um, definitely want to finish those up. Don't want to. Don't want to leave Chadley hanging. We'll be stepping up patrols day and night to ensure nothing like this ever happens again. Yeah, if you're running around and listen to all the people, while basically everyone in the main cast saw the ghosts, everyone else could not see them. Ah. You hear that bullshit about Barrett and the others fighting freaking ghosts? You really believe that nonsense? Yeah. Man, I don't know what I Because they haven't been touched by I death. Yeah. Sort it all out. Apparently, they were fighting invisible monsters. How do you know they're there if they're invisible? Mostly oh, because they try to eat her? <laughs> hmm. This, this lady right here next to me, she was getting eaten by the purple one. The, Could be this mess an, gets a purple shade of invisible. <laughs> Yeah, weird ghosts. 
like a five minute walk away is that train graveyard supposedly haunted by ghosts. Very suspicious. <laughs> I love the idea, though, of, like, changing out ex-party members' gear. Like, Barrett's waiting for you on the train station. You go through the menu, and he's like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> yeah. Wait, I, I was not wearing this bracelet a minute ago. Where'd this orb come from? Why, why, why do I have orbs? <laughs> Shimra's representative remarked that they received a bomb threat from the Eco-Terrorist group Avalanche. President Shimra had just decided Avalanche has declared war on all of the world, and Shimra's gonna stop him, right? I mean, they got him. The hell's so bad about using Maka? You know your, uh, uh... You know, your op was successful when the the news has said nothing else for days. <laughs> yeah, it's been uh, three days now. They aren't even covering the sports. Yeah, the no. weather. Another day, I couldn't make it to work. After I baked my landlord. Do they even have weather reports for the slums? I wonder. <laughs> it's gonna be smoggy, lots of shade. <laughs> That's about it. Sorry. It might be a little blue today. Would ditch the good life to see how the better half live. What sector is going to get it next? Please let it be anywhere but seven or eight. Maybe a slump slider for lunch. All these rich people getting into ripped jeans and stuff to dress like us. We didn't choose to have ripped jeans. Fuck. Sir? I got my hands on tickets for the Loveless musical. Would you like to go with me? You do realize we're on duty. The slums are avalanche territory. Yeah, but like, right. come on. Sorry, you know you want to go just so you can scream right. at the actors. <laughs> <laughs> Remember your lines. Make me feel it. I heard they've deployed soldier operatives, too. It's been a while since they've done that. I wanted to be a soldier, but as you can see... Cut the chatter. We're working. Right. Sorry, sir. You know, this sequel to Loveless, I'm not really feeling. The production's know, great, scary. but they Avalanche made the guy who is clearly the villain the first one, like, right in the second one? I don't get it. You're not Avalanche, <laughs> are you? I am not Avalanche. I just have a big sword. Now she, on the other hand. <laughs> That's a punch lady right over there. I don't know if you can trust that. going too far. Tell it to Shinra. All this discourse. You'll never stop me from taking the planet for granted. <laughs> <laughs> I'll use it until it fucking dies. Yeah, there's a lot less people around the town and way more people uh, by the train station. And a lot of people, a lot of the NPCs you would see around are gone because they've actually managed to get to work. I had no idea the food down here was so good. You know... We can always head back up tomorrow. Hooray. Also, yeah, hooray. The 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 well-to-do people who got stuck in the slums like it down here now. <laughs> the food is really good, apparently. You can get a slum slider. They don't offer that in places that aren't slums. <sighs> slum slider's a bad name, I'm sorry. It's very bad. Promise me you'll go see Biggs, okay? He'll take you to the leaf house. Okay. You'll like it. Everyone's really nice, especially the teachers. In fact, you'd be better off there. I'm sorry I'm alive and keeping you from the orphanage. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, there's some other random people uh, I don't listen to in this playthrough, but yeah, there's several people who are all like, well, I might die when I go to work today. Hey, you want to get pat down, Sha? I know hey, you I do. Will. Thanks, honey. I wanted to listen I'll to Shinra Middle speech. Manager, but that kid oh, desperately yay! wants to... Thanks, Pet that cat so bad he yelled over him. Come on, little guy, don't be scared. I won't bite. That cat lives the there. Cat, Leave him alone. If the cat wants to be pet, the, the cat will come to you. So glad starting to trickle back in. And once stops, avalanche in the bombings. Yeah. Have to approach him from a different angle to hear him. That avalanche. Do you think they'll try to destroy Middle manager is the only character who gets less sleep than Cloud. Shinra yeah. Will be there to protect everyone, right? 
That's right, honey. If I bump into these avalanche guys, I'll talk sense into them. Good for you, dear. You show them who's in charge. It worked before, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, there's one group of NPCs I... Uh, I just couldn't find them. I couldn't remember where they were, but... Uh, I'll, I'll actually, I'll bring them up in a second. We got some Chadley action. Wow. He moved. My expectations. Hello, Mr. Cloud. That I'm grateful for I've run a spectral analysis on your ex your sweat and other bodily excretions. <laughs> I've done it. I I've knew it was you. Materia. I'll be able to track you wherever you go just by the scent, even if I am blind. I can smell you. So yeah, we have one new uh, materia here. It's the ATB boost materia. Ooh. Uh, it doesn't. It's on a cooldown. It doesn't use any ATB uh, to use because it actually doubles the amount of ATB you have. So you basically want to use it when you have one gauge because it'll give you an extra gauge for free. Nice. These people again. I can't wait any longer. It's okay. I'm ready. Right here out in the open? Whoa. I'm so happy. Me too. Right. Let's... This is basically the same, like, punchline they have with these people in the original, too. Though in the original, mm -hmm. they fucking passed out and fell on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> also, hi, Johnny's mom. Hey, John and Mama. My Johnny said he was leaving town and headed off somewhere on his own. But he left so many of his things behind. Ever I since the hailstorm sure destroyed our crop. <laughs> that boy can't sleep without his lucky pillow. And he even forgot his favorite toothbrush. Oh, how will he survive out there? I can see him now, crying in his hotel room. I do declare I am getting the vapors. <laughs> this deal goes through now you don't know that war is still a possibility there's plenty of talk really hope that war comes through for my job <laughs> <laughs> even some of the folks who work topside have been hassling us to open up the graveyard probably because they're stuck down here there's halfway decent money in scavenging for spare parts what a shouldn't you be turned around <laughs> like if you're guarding the gate they, <laughs> they should be around yeah um they're such believers in the danger that they are trying to keep whatever it is in yeah and not people out <laughs> hello johnny's dad oh fancy meeting you here wait a minute don't tell me you're leaving town too aren't you yeah. No, I, I just want you to uh, show me to my seats while I watch <laughs> Loveless the Musical. <laughs> you youngsters, the ones with a fire in your heart. I can see it in your eyes, burning bright. You only appear to be about 35 at most, sir. For old men like me, well, our job is to see you off. I know he had to go. I, I really do. But I had Johnny when I was seven. <laughs> sad gone. So sad, in fact, that my wife and I were talking about taking a little trip ourselves. You know, to make sure that Johnny's doing all right out there. Shoot for the stars, man. Shoot for the stars. Hey, See you later in the game, bro. The so, the, yeah, there is one group of NPCs that I just could not remember where they were. But uh, back in, like, episode three, you know, on the train, we saw uh, that girl who was the pickpocket. And then later she yes. was, like, she was telling people, like, the news, like, what she saw on the upper plate. That same group of people she was talking to earlier, you can find them again sometime in, during the daytime here, and they're like, man, where'd that girl go? I want to know what's happening. <laughs> uh, time for, for some upgrades here. Uh, you can get some additional stat boosts that have some type of, like, uh, condition to them. Like, if Cloud it has more than three quarters of his health left, his magic attack is even higher than normal. Hey. And again, I'm just going all in on magic with him. Also, with Tifa... There's a really nice one here, aside from just giving her another Materia slot, which you can do. You can upgrade weapons to get more slots, mm -hmm. um, which unfortunately they don't physically model the new slots on the weapons. Um, yeah, okay. I wish they did that, but at a certain point, you're going to have so many slots. It's like, how would it fit on this glove? <laughs> we have a really nice upgrade here that all of her uh, uh, moves done with the, the triangle button, uh, just a 10% boost in damage for all of those, regardless of what her stats are, so it's, it's that's really nice.
And then with Barret, this is actually a first chance to upgrade him at all. Yeah, put some orbs in his gun. So yeah, anytime you're upgrading a weapon, probably the most important upgrade that you always want to get before anything else is just more materia slots. <laughs> Even if you're focusing on somebody being a physical attacker, there's still materia for that. One of the upgrades I go for Barrett a lot are things that increase his, his max health. Uh, he is already a person who naturally has a higher uh, max HP than anybody else in the game. Well, yeah, just look at him. He's, he's, he's a big old square, that man. Bear's huge. Uh, yeah, I always like to boost his health even more. To there, There's a couple cool builds you can make for him, one being a tank of sorts. Um, so we're going to be working towards that for Barret. Um, Where, where'd Ifrit go? Oh, so uh, before I fought the ghosts, I moved the materia around for Tifa, too. Uh, I moved Ifrit onto her uh -huh. because uh, it boosts your physical attack slot or uh, uh -huh. a stat. Yeah, and I should also mention every weapon has a separate slot that is only for summon materia on the right there. That's all you can put in that slot. Okay. But yeah, for Cloud, we're just giving him more uh, offensive magic stuff for Tifa. Uh, we're giving her this luck up materia that... Uh, Wedge gave us for beating him in darts. Mm -hmm. The luck stat determines uh, how frequently you do critical hits. So since she she attacks pretty fast and always do, is all, always doing punches, uh, yeah, 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 more chances for critical hits. Going to give her the ATB boost, of course, to to get her more ATB. Um, Barrett, for now, he doesn't. Well, one, we're going to slap a bulletproof vest on him, uh, well, obviously, to, to increase his defense even more. Also, just the aesthetic. Yeah. For him, I can't really turn him into a tank yet. We're missing some materia and abilities that let him do that. So instead, I'm turning him kind of into like a support class. Uh, we got this barrier materia that Jesse gave us that lets you use spells that increase uh, your defense against physical and magical attacks. Um, he'll also be able to revive people with this revival stuff that we picked up recently. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, on top of that, we're also uh, just going to increase his HP with that HP up. So yeah, right now he's he's not very good either with attack or magic attack, but he's just got a <laughs> lot of health and he's got a lot of defense. Yeah, yeah. And like all those support uh, spells he has don't really rely on magic attack. Um, so it doesn't really matter too much uh, for that stuff. Hey, Barrett. Hey, buddy. Did you feel a tingle in your wrist? <laughs> all right, people. Mission starts the moment we board that train. You sure you ready for this? Barrett, have you ever thought that, about how your arm is as thick as Tifa's whole torso? How do you hug your daughter without crushing her instantly? <laughs> Pop like a grape. Do you think Biggs is on schedule? All we can do is hope. Today really gotta be the day, huh? Ain't no stopping this train we're on, son. A lot of people risk their lives to get it rolling. Already put the word out, more's coming too. You shut them all down by the day, or we shut another down for you. Ain't on us, not us. Ah, oh, nuts. Mission's off, boys. Shit. Play it cool. So anyways, how about a slum slider, eh, guys? <laughs> <laughs> we, we don't got anything to do today. Even the trains are covered in tubes. <laughs> this is an announcement from the Shinra Electric Power Company. The terrorist group Avalanche has issued another bomb threat. In response, we have raised the threat level and entered a state of heightened alert. All lines are currently... That guy's definitely delayed. Avalanche. Mm. We anticipate that our arrival in Sector 4 will be later than scheduled. The targets Marco Reactor 5. From the station, we take the back streets. All right. <laughs> Once we're inside the facility, it's the same deal as last time. Head for Marco storage. And then blow it all to hell. Let's do this one for Jesse and Wedge. They deserve it. Yeah. Sure. I heard Wedge got his butt bit. <laughs> that sucks. We have to avenge his butt. 
They bite our butt. We blow theirs to hell. <laughs> I didn't think word would spread this fast. That's right. A butt for a butt. <laughs> <laughs> If they send one of your butts to the hospital, you send one of their butts to the morgue. <laughs> That's the avalanche way. <laughs> Might stand out as a group. You two stay here. What's up? The train will be passing an ID checkpoint. Oh yeah. Here comes the Remember first that? Turtle. Not much of one. I know, I know, but that doesn't mean I don't have butterflies in my stomach. Oh, the lasers can tell. So uh <sighs> I'd chill out if I were you. Hey, would you mind keeping an eye on things the next car over? I'm worried there might be trouble. Why is that? Barrett's always on edge before missions, but you know he's a good guy underneath it all. The people on this train don't. Anyway, it's 40 fine. minutes between stops. Maybe. People might get a little antsy. But I won't yeah. Until I know for sure. Be right back. Thanks. Can you hang out in the next train car just so people don't harass Barrett? Oh wait, it didn't work. Damn it! They're already harassing Barrett. So, do you still support those terrorists? Avalanche is a blight on Midgar. Huh? Their bomb threat has thrown our offices into chaos, let alone the reactor itself. It's total insanity! But we won't lose heart. No! Everyone at Shinra agrees. The reactor will stay online. <laughs> Is that right? Barrett can't give you the promotion, dude. You, you can just say you said this when you get you to work. <laughs> yeah. Problem with that? Oh, you can bet. He doesn't. <laughs> Asshole. You know you're better than that. I don't understand why everybody doesn't uh, just take things easy around me, Cloud. I'm just made of gun. <laughs> I really appreciate uh, the animation of Shinra Middle Manager being so nervous. He's just constantly, like, rapidly bouncing his leg here. I have nothing more to say to you and your friend. Hey, you want this orb? The Sector 4 office has got the worst of it. Everyone's panicking over there. Just leave me alone. Why don't you go check on Tifa? I think you need to put even more distance between you and Shinra Middle Manager. Oh, see how <laughs> that that dude see can't you not know. pick a fight. You know, maybe Shinra puts listening devices in all, all their employees or something. Who knows? You got to keep it up even when you're out of work. I don't know. I'd, I'd talk to the other lady in the train car. Just see how she's doing. <laughs> Huh? No way! Emergency ID scan in progress. It's Umbrella Guy. Come on, it's Umbrella Guy. Mm. Threat level critical. Inspection and containment sweep initiated. Commencing at the rear of the train. Not good. Get over here now! Take care of them, Cloud. Bought it. Also, I was just thinking it to de-escalate these situations on these train cars. Also, these slugway rays, they're just robots. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're weak to lightning. Uh, they can fly if they're really high above you. If you hit them with, uh, hit them enough with physical attacks, they'll crash to the ground. Um, I was thinking if Barrett wants to d defuse situations like this in, in these tense train car rides, he should be- he should just become one of those dads who pulls out his wallet and has like 20 pictures of his kid. Yes, yes! Because he already seems like the type of dad that would do that! Here's my little Marlene, isn't she cute as a button? 
Oh, this gun on my arm is for work. <laughs> Look at my adorable daughter. Calling lightning. No holding back. Also, I enjoyed the uh, the extra detail for this single fight, where if uh, when, when these little robots blow up, depending where they blow up, different parts of the train car get destroyed. Mm -hmm. You never fight in a train car again. <laughs> They did it for this one bit. <laughs> All the cushions get flipped over and stuff. It's great. What you, you have to get out of here. What are yeah. you doing? Trying to keep you alive. But I work for Shinra. I'm the enemy. I don't care. I don't want anyone to die. Please. I'll look after the others. My turn. Hell yeah! <laughs> There's no end to them. Three unauthorized passengers successfully contain neutralizing threats. Looks like you're right, soldier boy. Screw this. <clears throat> the station will be crawling with security. We gotta jump. Screw that! I'm still just a huge fan of... Down. You know, every, every character in a JRPG has to have their own unique way of fighting or, or wacky weapon they carry. But everyone's either gun arm, giant sword. Teeth is just, I'm just going to punch to that stuff. <laughs> I don't need any of that. I will just you, punch the robot. Have you considered punching the robots? I, I will punch the ro I will punch the shotgun man. I will punch the ghost. I will punch the rats. I won't like it, but I'll do it. how it's done. You okay? Yeah. Are you gonna make me a pizza now? All right, you ready? Ready. I mean, Jessie's pizza better be really good. She's had all day to cook now. It's true. Like, her calendar just got empty. <laughs> and again, Cloud hasn't eaten yet. He's gonna be real, he's gonna be a hungry boy. <laughs> Steady. So there's this uh, luminous blast ability these robots don't have. Uh, if you get hit by that and you don't block it, uh, you will get stunned for a couple seconds. Ah, that's no good. Yeah. Nobody wants that. So Tifa has the ATB, ATB boost materia. It's not an ability you use because it doesn't use like it doesn't use your gauge. It's in the shortcut menu uh, instead. Because once you use ah. it, it takes a couple minutes for it to recharge before you can use it again. But it doubles how much ATB you currently have. So she mm -hmm. has about one gauge. So if we use it, Let's she instantly it. has another gauge. Yeah. Don't so yeah, if you only had it. half of one gauge, you could pop that to get a full gauge real quick. It can be useful when it's like, wow, I'm about to die. I really need to heal. Stuff like that. Yeah. Look, at him, look at him go. <laughs> That's gotta be him. Is Barrett trying to shoot Roach? Is that what's happening up ahead? <laughs> Maybe. Thanks. For when we jump from the train, I mean. No biggie. You're pretty light, you know. You always know what to say. <laughs> Look, I already exhausted all of my, uh, my emotions just being, like, aware of how you felt once. <laughs> Give me a break, <laughs> I'm working on it! My, my gauge is still recharging. <laughs> yeah. Give it a few years. I have to punch a couple robots before I can do that again. <laughs> Oh no, the nerds are watching. <laughs> <laughs> well done, well done. I felt sure we had them, didn't you? Sir. Born survivors is surats. Speaking of which, where's the third? In custody, sir. Return it to the wild. Yes, sir. Right away. <laughs> That 
that's Heidegger's whole shtick, even from the original. Is basically every dialogue box in the original was just half laughing or chuckling to himself. <laughs> it's there! We have a visual on the target. <laughs> Requesting immediate assistance! Uh, so something really fun about Tifa's moveset is when she's fighting, like, normal Shinra soldiers, all of her punches just make them ragdoll everywhere. <laughs> Hell yes. It's rad. I'm waiting. And yeah, right there was her deadly dodge combo, which also changes and gets better when you when you level up her chi. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's a completely different combo from her, her normal one. The, the deadly dodge combo for her is basically just her spinning absurdly fast with, with kicks to the point where it looks like she should probably be puking. <laughs> she spit... Teep, you haven't even seen how fast Tifa can spin in this game. Later on, there's a move that's like her limbs should be torn from her body when she spins so fast. <laughs> He's close. Come on. There. There it. It's easy to track the noisiest man alive. Yeah. We're coming. You won't stop grunting. Stairs over there. We better hurry. Yeah. I've had it up to here with you damn robo bugs. It's just funny that he also like out of all all of our party members right now, he's the one who exerts himself the least cuz he's just shooting a gun usually. <laughs> Like, I guess it probably feels good to scream while shooting a gun, but... Down without a fight. Uh, that doesn't sound good. Let's go. Sorry. So yeah, now we're finally at the max yeah. amount of people you can have in your party at once. Three people. Deal with that. From the train. Oh, damn, Don't let any of them escape! Yeah, Barrett, we haven't used him well. He's got his special overcharge move that can do a lot of damage, and it charges up his ATB real fast. Mm-hmm. He's also got his uh, focus shot, which is good for filling up the stagger meter. And it uses as many ATB charges as he has, so he uses both of them since we got him filled up. Right. Does even more stammer da damage because of that. Yeah, there's, there's more to Barrett we'll see next episode. I kind of held off on explaining more of Barrett because it's it takes a good amount of time before you get him back in your party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's an ass whooping on its way, I see. The victory theme. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, okay. Now let's confirm our position and get back on mission. That reactor's wait. Looks like it's going to be plan E. Go on. Plan A was if everything went off without a hitch. From the station, it would have been a straight shot to the reactor. Didn't work out, but we knew going in we had to have alternatives. Backup plans, in case we had to get off early. From closer in to further out, B, C, D, and so on. Up to what? Z. It's the alphabet, bro. <laughs> Lucky us. Yeah! <laughs> You're damn right! Anyway, we were riding the train between Sector 4 and the main pillar when we had to bail out. And we ended up on the adjacent line, which should take us to Reactor 5. That's right. High so octane map looking tracks. action. It's exciting. <laughs> Need to switch to a different route before we hit the station. You can bet your ass it's gonna be crawling with security. All on high alert. Let's move. Our friends in Sector 5 marked the route, so don't worry about getting lost. It's a straight shot to victory, people! All we gotta do is take it! It's just a much longer straight shot than maybe Ooh. we were expecting or, or hoping for. You have nothing to worry about, sir. Preparations for the grand finale are proceeding without incident. I have the utmost confidence that everything will play out as you intended. Yes, of course. I will not fail you, sir. I'm laughing about it already. <laughs> Look at my teeth! Sir, 
Analytics reports that the results fall within the admissible range. However, the casualty rate significantly exceeds previous projections. Remind me what your job is. Is it to question the wisdom of your superiors and bemoan your personal hardships? Heidegger's barber uh, is a wind tunnel. Casualty. Just blows it right back. You think I care about the casualty rate? They're pawns in a greater game. If your stock runs low, then go round up more for Sector 3 or wherever else. Use your head and bring me solutions instead of problems for a change, yes? Sir. Thank you very much, Sergeant Subordinate. It is so hard to find good help these days. Which is why the President ought to count his blessings. What would he do without me? <laughs> oh, Heidegger. So for the, uh, the extras here, uh, first thing up, uh, Jesse asked asked Cloud a question. Yes. Let me just tell her, not happening. I'm lactose intolerant. I can't. I can't do it. Not happening. Ah, sorry. Little too in your face. I'll just have to change it up then. <laughs> Nighty night. She won't quit no matter what timeline I'm in. Psych. Help me. Tifa, what does it mean when a girl bites her tongue and winks at me? <laughs> I Tifa, I do not understand this body language. So yeah, if you're on the train and the time limit runs out, it's not a game over. It just changes things a little bit. Lockdown complete. One unauthorized passenger detained. Oh no! Until all unauthorized passengers are detained. <sighs> And Cloud does a almost inaudible, just really like annoyed little grunt, just like man. <laughs> Come on. I do love those luggage racks collapsing, though. It's very good. It's cool. Damn it. Very familiar. How many are there? Three unauthorized passengers successfully contained. Neutralizing threat. We gotta jump. <laughs> It'd be real great if Cloud never hurt, never got the message of jumping, so they just leave him behind. <laughs> <laughs> he just gets caught by the cops. He's out of the game. When Cloud suggests jumping, it's a bad idea. But then Barrett suggests jumping on his own. Um, mm. He's one of those mm. guys, huh? Tifa, Barrett. Still not got the message. So yeah, you get a couple extra fights that you have to get through because you you jumped off the train at a different point. Uh, you're, uh, you're, yeah, yeah. You're, you're further back in the tunnels than normal. Um, of course, you don't get to uh, jump out with Tifa, and you don't have that, that little moment when they're on the ground. Uh, mm -hmm. Which reminds me, uh, playing this game you know, as a remake, but a lot of the stuff still being very similar to the original, it's funny to see because so many games now have incorporated romance as a gamified mechanic via dialogue <laughs> options and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's also in a way where so many games now, it's like, okay, you have initiated the romance subplot with X character. The end of that is always you f you, you have sex off screen. Mm-hmm. This game's... Whereas in this game, it's fully depicted. <laughs> uh, there, there's a mini game actually. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's the hot coffee of Final Fantasy VII. I can't wait. Um... This game's way of delivering, like, handling romance and stuff feels very 90s. And it's never like, oh, they're in the relationship. You're seeing the relationship. It's always just the will they, won't they? Mm -hmm. It feels... And it's also extra weird seeing this remake happen because a whole bunch of 1998 
message board discussion suddenly be happened all over again. <laughs> Call you like Come on. Oh, thanks for the assist. Glad to see you're okay. So, where's Barrett? Somewhere over there, I think. And you get a different comment here, of course, because you jumped out at a different point. Right. After Barrett jumped, I knew that I had to go right after, but... Don't worry about it. Cool as ever, I see. If I wasn't, it would have never made me a soldier. Good point. I, gu I guess so. I'm very cool, okay? <laughs> Please accept this about me. <laughs> It's cool that I am or was a soldier. Please, please. Come on. 